Mercedes is electrifying the E-Class. EQE is the name of the all-electric business sedan. As a 350 plus version, it's supposed to offer a range of up to 650 kilometers. Visually, it's almost identical to its larger luxury sister EQS, the electric S-Class. Is the EQE the insider's tip among the comfortable electric Mercedes saloons? To this day, the E-Class is particularly well known as a taxi. In 2016, over 60% of all taxis in Germany came from Mercedes. In recent years, however, demand for Mercedes taxi limousines has plummeted by 75%. For this reason, the electric EQE and the internal combustion E-Class due in 2023 will no longer be offered X-Works in taxi trim. Because of long charging times, the EQE could be uneconomical for taxi operators. At the DC fast charger with 170 kilowatt peak power and 400 volts supply voltage, that is the theoretical peak under ideal conditions, 32 minutes are given for charging. But at the 11 kilowatt AC charging station, as here in Frankfurt city centre, eight to nine hours are realistic until the 90 kilowatt hour battery is fully charged. This is clearly too long for taxi operations. And the charging network and the urgently needed expansion of the infrastructure are further hurdles. Then of course, there are things like the grid connection is complex, at the same time, building permits, these are problems that we see with the charging station providers. And what is very important, charging infrastructure is not only what I have in the public space, but it already starts at home. If I manage to charge my e-car at home, then the charging infrastructure is significantly relieved. And that is also the reason why Mercedes has launched a new wall box on the market that includes everything the customer needs. It's online, I can connect it at home with Wi-Fi or cable, and it's currently fully integrated into our Mercedes Me app, which means I can end or start my charging process wherever I am. If you want to fully charge the 10-module battery to get the promised range of 650 kilometers, you need a fast charger or a lot of patience. The 4 m 94 long EQE is difficult to distinguish from the 27 cm longer luxury saloon EQS. Both are aerodynamically optimized and follow the Mercedes one bow, that is, the arch design. The EQE has a 9 cm shorter wheelbase and slightly shorter overhangs front and rear. Visually, they are almost twins. The EQS has been on the market since August 2021. We are very grateful that we were able to make the first impact with the EQS, our luxury sedan. The EQE is now our interpretation of a business sedan. As in the EQS, the EQE also has optional all-wheel steering with 4.5 or 10 degrees of steering assistance on the rear axle. This reduces the turning circle by a maximum of 1 meter 80 to 10.7 meters. This makes the handling of the almost 5 meter long saloon much more agile. Three performance levels are available at the market launch. The 350 Plus is our interpretation as a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, 215 kilowatt output from the electric motor. The all-wheel drive variant, 500 sales position, then has around 300 kilowatts output, and the AMG variant then goes up to 350 kilowatts. The Edition 1 of the EQE comes in 2022 in the trendy color grey called Alpine Grey and with 21-inch rims. The round design is based on the teardrop shape and makes the e-car maximally efficient. The CD value of 0.22 is only 0.02 above the EQS, which is currently considered the champion of wind resistance. The rear-wheel drive 350 Plus with 292 horsepower is the entry into the all-electric EQE world. All-electric Mercedes are electronically limited at 210 km per hour. The Edition 1 package adds another 9,250 euros to the base price. 
This includes an AMG line exterior, gloss turned 21 inch rims and additional visual features in the interior. But the basic version does not mean sacrificing anything. The almost 300 electric horsepower pushes forward powerfully but silently. At the driver's request, the 215 kilowatt car sprints to 100 kilometers an hour in 6.4 seconds, a super value for the 2.35 ton vehicle. But if you press the electric pedal that hard more often, you will certainly not reach the stated consumption value of 16.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Mercedes is currently working hard to ensure that their customers are not stranded somewhere in the middle of nowhere without a charging station and electricity. We are currently one of the largest charging services in the world, with over 700,000 charging points, of which over 300,000 are in Europe. Of course, a growing network. We have an extremely high coverage of 100% in some cases, in isolated markets, sometimes also in Germany, but everything that is really in the public space, at every publicly accessible charging point, I can charge with my Mercedes Me charging card, with my head unit, or at Ionity and Aral, also with plug and charge, all within my Mercedes Me system, I can drive there, charge, and at the end of the month, I will have all charging processes on one invoice. What is really impressive about the EQE is how much technology is already doing its job unobtrusively in the background with the standard OLED screen. Optionally, there is the Hyper screen, a three-part screen spanning almost the entire width of the vehicle. This highlight of the extras list is available for a whopping 8,568 euros extra. Let's start with the geometry, 1.41 meters wide, three different screens, the front passenger has his own screen and he can use all functions fully independently, regardless of what function the driver is using. Infotainment, radio functions and even watching TV. One thing is the sheer size of it and being able to display it like this in an integrated system. That was the challenge of Hyperscreen, but also the many intelligent features that we built in. The customer finds all the classic ones that one knows from Mercedes-Benz, such as massage or seat heating, etc., but also new EV-specific ones, whether it's sound design, ambient light. And now we come to the next topic, which is not immediately recognizable, but quite elementary, the so-called zero-layer principle. What this means in concrete terms is that we start using artificial intelligence to analyze the behavior of the driver and passenger and to observe the functions and features that are used most often and to place these functions on the top level. With its hyper screen, the EQE impressively demonstrates how much modern cars have become software-based technical devices. It also has almost all the features that make the EQS a luxury saloon. With its ultra-comfortable air suspension, good range, all-wheel steering, the hyperscreen and many other extras, the EQE does not have to hide behind its luxury sister. The high level of comfort and tranquility in this vehicle also makes the Mercedes look more and more like a high-tech flying carpet.